hello friends, my name is m 2 and welcome back to another episode of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door for the Nintendo Switch. We are here in Glitzville all of a sudden, and that's because I'm very excited for this. Uh, this is probably one that so many people have been looking forward to since the release of this version of the game. And, um, so what happened, and the reason I'm back in Glitzville is because I have spent uh, a very long time in between recording, uh, just basically running around. Um, and uh, when you run around, uh, then you get something very special. So, remember this email right here, Jolene's email? You get this email sometime after completing her trouble in the trouble center, and then after some even more time, which is a lot, a lot of time, you have to be uh, actively playing for, I think, about an hour? And then after about an hour of actively playing, which in my case is just moving around all over the place, uh, then you get this email, which is, accept my challenge, from Mush. Hello, Mario, this is Mush, Jolene's younger brother and first champion of the Glitz Pit. Remember me? Thanks for helping me out recently. Uh, still not sure what happened, but I do know that if you and my big sis hadn't saved me, well, I get chills just thinking about it. Anyway, I was wondering if you heard about my big comeback. I've been pushing all my limits with the most punishing training regiment of my entire career. I'm finally seeing, feeling, and seeing the results, so it's time for Prince Mush to make a grand return to the ring. I want you to witness the fruits of my labor, Mario. I asked my sis for help, and she's arranged a special exhibition match just for the two of us. New champ versus original champ. If you accept my challenge, I'll be waiting for you in the glitz pit. Prepare for a Prince Mush performance like you've never seen before. I'm actually not sure that you've seen me battle before. <laughs> I guess not. So just believe me when I say it, I was good. Don't leave me waiting, Greg Gonzalez, from Prince Mush. Never present in the original game. And this is brand new content introduced in the remake. Um, so, this is going to be very exciting. Um, so, you can actually do this as early as after Chapter 3, believe it or not. Um, so basically, like, because uh, Jolene's trouble is early, is is uh, is available after chapter three, and then um, after chapter three, once you and then after completing that trouble, then you just gotta wait a long time. You, you got you got basically just wait a long time for stuff to happen, and then and then before you actually get that email, you don't need to do anything crazy. Um, there are no like specific criterias that you need to do. In order to get Prince Mush's email, I've been I've been looking up uh, I've been reading around on several different online resources saying that you need to be doing you need to be uh, progressing the story um, quite often. And one common one is completing a chapter after getting Jolene's email. Which um, seeing that I've gotten that email after chapter seven uh, and then getting the email now that is false. At least now it's proven to be false. Um, and then some have said that you need to be battling uh, a lot of enemies, which that alone, that is also false. You need to make sure that you have a lot of items, because this is not going to be easy. I'm going to just say that right now. So here we go. Um, uh, you're, you're intended to actually do this, like, after you beat the game, when you're, like, much stronger, but we're, we're going to do this here. I have completed, uh, when I first played this game, I did this after Chapter 4. So, uh, here we go. Would you like an exhibition match against Prince Mush? Yes. The exhibition match has been registered. Please wait in the locker room. A security guard will escort you. And also, you do not need to become the champion again in order to actually do this. So, you can, it's very possible for you to do this in, while you're in the minor league. So, here we go. It's time for today's main event, and we're in for a beautiful brawl. Here before your eyes, our newest champ, the Great Gonzalez, will battle the very first champion, Prince Mush! Once all is said and done, which of these two beloved fighters will be left standing in the arena? Let's get our star gladiators out here. First, making his tramp return to the Glitz Pit, it's the Great Gonzalez! You rock, man! E Gonzalez, he's back! You the man! What an entrance! The crowd is going wild for Gonzalez, our third champion! 
And standing opposite our newest champion is the first ever fighter to bear the title. That's right, folks. Back in action and better than ever. Ready for a royal return to the ring. Give it up for Prince Mush! Prince Mush, the first champion. We miss you. Woo! We don't lose to Gonzalez. Two champions face to face at last. The excitement among the crowd has reached a new peak. It's time to ring the starting bell and begin a match that will echo through the halls of the Glitz Pit for eternity. Get ready to brawl! Oh man, and even Prince Mush gets his own music. It's so cool. This is a really cool fight. Okay, Mario, let's get this match. Everything we've got. Alright then, now, this fight is very specific, it's a, the, the strategy is very specific here, I'm not kidding. So the first thing uh, I recommend you, I didn't do this last time, but um, I'm going to start with a power lift. So here we go. Basically, it is important to... Um, Defense is more important than offensive. Um, so, I got quite a bit of defense, so this this should be good. Because this guy hurts. Prince Mush has 96 HP, 6 attack power, and 6 defense. Um, now, when he's in a stance like that, um, then you cannot hit him at all. He's going to dodge all of your moves. So, what is the strategy here? Well, when he when he's attacking, you want to super guard. That's right. This is the one point where super guarding is actually required. So, here we go. Let's try this. Okay. Oh yeah, and then you can also take your FP. Uh, and taking and uh, when he takes your FP, that's kind of bad. So you don't want that. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, so while since we can't do anything, I may as well just charge up here, power myself up. Dang, man. Oh my gosh. Come on. All right. 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 This is fine. This is fine. It gives me, gives me more opportunities to, to just power myself up even more, so here we go. Unfortunately, though, now the power of the effect is going to wear off after this turn, so I'm not going to get even the extra boost here. Jesus Christ! Oh, God. Alright, this is, this, is, this is not going well. Alright, alright. And, uh... Oh man, is my charge effect gonna wear off if I use if I use a different move? I, I don't. I can't imagine why it would. Right, let's, let's go for this again. No shoot! The cursor didn't go. What? Okay, thanks, GameCube D-pad. That was really bad, Jesus Christ. Okay. Okay, so I still have the charge power. So, this is good. No! Come on! I can't do this! Oh my gosh. Alright. Alright, we still got this. Uh, this is fine because the more the more times the more time is doing this, the more opportunity is giving me to, to power myself up. There is a there is a cap as to how much power you can you can charge up. Oh man, he's getting even stronger. Oh man, and once again, you can't you can't do any you you, you still can't hit him. So because uh, yeah, he's still um, doing his uh, fighting pose. He has several different moves. So here so and you have to be able to super guard all um, all of them. There we go. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Okay. All right. I'm not. I'm not gonna use power up again. Actually, I don't even think. I don't even have enough right now. But that. But yeah. So now. So well, when when he's super guard, now he's down. When he's down, this is your opportunity to hit him. Oh, thank you very much. I will gladly take that. 
All right, here we go. Nice. That's really good. All right, all right. Here we go again for uh, Goombella as well. Oh man, you're gonna you're you're gonna go down soon. Yes, there we go. Oh man, you're down. You're so done. All right, all right, all right. It's time to end this. Boom! Oh man, let's go. I didn't even have to use a live stream. It's you. It's recommended if you're gonna be fighting him uh, at such a low level, like much earlier in the game then you want to have a lot of live streams. This guy hurts a lot, and uh, without power lift, if you're doing this fight without power lift, this guy does so much damage per attack. Oh my gosh. That was crazy. That, that, that was an awesome fight. An extreme battle of the very highest caliber, but there could only be one winner, and this time it was the Great Gonzalez! Use your fight money of 30 coins. All right. That's right. I hear Mush Oops make that Prince Mush has something to give you. I just saw him in the hallway. If you catch him, if you want to catch him now, that's all. Take care, Gonzalez. All right then. So, go ahead and make your way out the hallway. And then, uh, if you go and find him somewhere, wherever he is. He's somewhere. Oh, I see him. Mario, thank you so much for that incredible match. We put on quite a show up there, didn't we? I know I gave it everything I had. We should both be proud. Yeah, that was awesome. I have a gift for you. Consider it. Thank you for being such a great opponent. I hope you'll take it. And then you'll get Prince Mush's belt, which is a symbol of our friendship. I'm ready and willing for a rematch anytime, and I intend to win it. That's right, and there's no punishment if you lose, because obviously these are Glitzville matches, and Glitzville matches, there's no punishment in losing. Uh, or at least not much of a punishment. There's not, there's no punishment in losing exhibition matches. Um, but yeah, you can rematch him anytime you like. Um, if you want to practice fighting him and get really good at it. But yeah, that's Prince Mush. That was, that was amazing. I, I, I really like that. It's such an awesome addition to uh, the game that they finally uh allowed you to battle him because in the original in the original game after chapter three you just never see him again okay and so with that that is going to be it for this episode of paper mario thousand year door and next time we're going to be doing some other things um before i'm doing the uh next chapter so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys next time goodbye